My name is Kayla and I am the Managing Director of the company Engage. I put myself forward towards this role because I believe I have strong leadership skills and effective communication skills. Thus, these skills have allowed me to effectively engage and develop trust with my colleagues in order to build an optimum team and ensure effective outcomes paramount to the making of a successful product. Hi, my name is Aisha and I was the company secretary for this team. I chose this role because I think I have good organisational skills. Hi, my name is Jaya and I am the financial director of Engage. I chose this role as I am financially aware as well as having good organisation skills. Hi, my name is Asina and I'm the marketing director. I like to think of myself as a very creative person and believe that I have strong attention to detail and work well with other people. My name is Alicia and I'm the sustainability director. I want you to use my role to identify inefficiencies in areas where we as a business can improve our environmental impact. This is because being sustainable and raising environmental awareness are growing and increasingly important areas within the business world. Hi, my name is Priya and I'm the sales director. I chose this role because I have good communication skills, the ability to remain calm under pressure and also good people skills. Hi, I'm Layla, the digital director. The digital industry and area of technology within the business world is a rapidly growing factor that contributes towards the growth and success of a business. Thus, I wanted to use our digital platform and social media, an evolving form of promotion to interact with customers, to gain the attention of more people and further understand the interests of the public in order to, be to develop our product. Hi, my name is Ria and I'm the Operations Director and I chose this role because I believe I have strong communication and organisational skills. Hi, I'm Amelia and I'm the Human Resource Director. I chose this role because I believe I have good communication and decision making skills which I think are essential for the role. Throughout this journey and attending various events such as our visit to the HSBC headquarters and Fox's Lair, we have boosted our confidence further developed our communication and sales skills, sourced deals and gained a wide variety of useful skills required within the business world. We wanted to name our team Engage to emphasise the main aim of our product, which is to encourage friends and family to come together and socialise away from tech. Reverse brainstorming ideas amongst our group, a key focus was to get people to spend less time on their phone and to find ways of getting people to engage with one another. Our product is a handmade card game called Can You Name It? With regards to our green intentions, we refrain from laminating our cards as the plastic is harmful to the environment. Initially, we intended on creating a board game, however we were unable to do so due to lack of capital. Although the idea changed, our aim was still the same. Each director brought shares into the company, giving us a base startup. We then held samosa sales and sweet sales within our school to raise further funds. But when researching manufacturing costs of our original idea, we found out that they would be too high. To overcome this as a team, we decided to adapt our idea and consider a more cost-effective way to produce our product. This is why we decided to create the product ourselves. Special product. I had created a rotor for the manufacturing of our product, by which all team members followed, taking it in turns to cut and print cards for the game, staying after school and working during long lunch times on their allocated days. Once all the units were made, we conducted a quality assurance policy to ensure there were no mistakes or faulty products being sold to our customers. The price per unit was £3.71. 56% of this went towards the card, 27% of this went towards the boxes, 15% of this went towards the timers, and 3% went towards the dice. We are now going to explain the rules of our game. Our game is a 2 plus player game. Player 1 will roll the dice, the number roll corresponds to topic card. There are 6 topics to land on, for example it might land on the geography topic. Player 1 must pick a card from the chosen category and then read aloud what is written on the card. For example, it might say capital cities. Player 1 must now tell player 2 how many capital cities they think they can name in 30 seconds. Player 2 can decide whether to counter their statement and name more capital cities than them or challenge player 1 to see if they're telling the truth. 
If player two counters their statement, they must name a higher number in 30 seconds. Player three can then decide whether they can name more or challenge player two. Players continue to counter each other's statements until a player is challenged. In another instance, if player two challenges player one, they must be put to the test to see if they're able to do it. If player one completes the challenge, then they gain a point. However, if they are unsuccessful, the point is given to player two. Engage has their own Instagram account in order to communicate with our customers, inform the public about any fundraising events, as well as give an insight into our company. By using our Instagram account, we've been able to receive opinions and questions regarding our product. We have then taken these opinions on board and answered any of the questions. This has allowed us to increase the involvement between the company and our customers. Before the trade fair was cancelled, we hoped to inspire friends and families to have closer interactions. From the experience, I have gained the opportunity of an insight into business in the real world and gone behind the scenes to the different stages in the making and selling of a product by attending various events and participating in the Young Enterprise Programme. This experience has taught me what makes a successful business as well as how to effectively run a business confidently. My key highlights have been dealing with any obstacles along the way and finding solutions, as well as managing my team in order to create a product which we are all proud of. I wanted to do Young Enterprise because I wanted to learn more about business in the real world. And I also wanted to improve my confidence skills, which I think I have done through conversing with other people. Through doing Young Enterprise, I have learned how a successful business runs I've also got an insight into a future career prospect of mine. This experience has allowed me to become more confident when pitching ideas, as well as sharpening my organisational skills in order to meet deadlines. By doing Young Enterprise, it has given me a perspective of real life scenarios and made me consider what I want to do in the future. This experience has been beneficial to me as it has helped to enhance my teamwork skills and my ability to communicate within the group. This in turn has helped to establish stronger friendships with my teammates. My highlights have been coming up with new ideas with my group and also overcoming problems. This has helped me become more creative and also have more perseverance when things don't go to plan. The process has allowed me to create a product with my group that I'm proud of and also share many memories along the way. My Young Enterprise journey has been an enjoyable experience which has benefited my knowledge of the business environment. It's been challenging as we have had to work together tactically and effectively to tackle problems and obstacles faced along the way, as well as meet deadlines. But our perseverance and resilience has allowed us to do so. I enjoyed this experience because Young Enterprise has helped strengthen my negotiating skills and allowed me to have an awareness of internal and external customer needs. This experience has given me an understanding of how businesses work and the importance of communication and teamwork between all members to ensure there is efficiency.